Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. It's Double Deuce back with a size comparison. The Engimore V8 G52 version, that Nismo engine, and the Aussie V8. So we're going to do a size. You look at them and you see what they are. Small block, big block. You see what I'm saying? Now, this one here, you know, we know this engine's been around for years and years and years. And it's a very good engine and it, 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 it makes some good power on nitro. This one here is a new Engimore, you know, Nismo looking version of the engine because I did a lot of research on this, trying to figure it out. And it started with the firing order on the thing. And once I got the firing order down, then I started searching, you know, in plug heads and all this stuff and twin overhead cams. And I come up with, the, uh, what was it, uh, Nismo uh, VK56, you know, that's what I come up with, but like I say there, we'll go over them right now, and we're going to throw in the toy in the VA too, so stay tuned. So as you can see, we're going to do a size comparison today, we're going to have the Engimore um, Nismo style v8 we have the toyin and the howen fs v800 and we got the aussie fully blown massive supercharger v8 so i've got a lot of re requests over this so we're just going to do it now now this engine's a lot bulkier broader cleaner cleaner running um these are nitros these two here um, I wanted to convert this one to gasoline, but it, it was uh, a lot of work to come up with the uh, gearing, the belts, the distributors, and uh, I actually bought two of the Ingemore four-cylinder distributors that were actually half of this engine here for this to come up with two different CDI units and all that for the, uh, you know, the Aussie V8, but the Aussie V8, it runs on nitro, you know, and it's a little messy, but man, does it turn on. So, as you can see, small, bigger, biggest. Now, I've had a lot of quarter scale cars in my day, and I've seen the Aussie engines just, I don't know, they just don't quite fill the engine compartment like I would like them to, you know. I believe that when... When you open the hood, the engine should be the main attraction. But they're very comparable in size. I mean, I'll turn this around this way. Like I say, this is wider and bulkier. This one's smaller, but yet taller. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, hope this guy gives you the uh, answers you're looking for there. Um, and, you know, like I say, these, um, this one here. I have played with this engine for hours and hours and hours. I just love it. Um, and now that this year, I got a new girlfriend in my life. I'm going to play with both of these. And, you know, it's going to be pretty cool there. And my Toyin V8. Right here. This is going to go into a project that I've already got started. And this one, I've got some RPM out of this. I got almost 12,000 RPM out of this engine. And... I think this is going to be a really good engine, but for the sizes, the shapes, the powers, um, it's really not known, at least I don't know, maybe you guys out there know, what the horsepower is with the supercharged version of the Aussie V8, because this one here, there's, there's, there's no replacement for displacement. This thing here is, is the mama. It's the big block. Um, this is the small block. So as you can see, there's, you know, it's typical with size, big block to small block. Um, as far as the height goes, they're probably the same height because these are both on pedestals that I had, you know, this one here came with the pedestals and this one here I made so I could test run this engine. And, uh, you know, but, there it is guys, like I say, 
like share subscribe if you want love to all and uh any questions comments throw them in the comment section down there if you got any questions on this here contact sterlingkit.com or check out their blog if you got any questions on this here you can check out quarter scale i think it is at quarter scale at something but I'll, I'll try to find a link and put it down below uh the aussie v8s are everywhere you know they're they know these are good engine they are good engine um and the harder you beat on them eh, the more maintenance they need but this one has four roller rockers it's got the new updated heads on the thing um and like i say it's got the supercharger on it this one actually surges when it idles um it would be cool to take this massive 671 and put on this because it looks like there could be an adapter plate in my future and uh the only other problem i would say would be cooking up a belt drive to this thing so i probably have to get a longer belt for this down here to run the oil pump the water pump and the supercharger at the same time which is pretty dangerous you know because once you lose that belt i've lost a couple of these you see this belt's a lot thinner um because i was you know i just got online i ordered a belt and at the time it was during the lockdown and i couldn't really get nothing from australia and uh so but this belt's hung on pretty good for as thin as it is but all right guys double deuce i'm out of here um and i'll catch you up with the next video man love to all later